beginner database design and SQL programming using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. I'm Karl Mantov. This is my new book. It should be available in your local bookstore or on Amazon.com. It is also available in Kindle format. You can find it by the ISBN number or just type in my name. There is a new concatenation function concat in SQL Server 2012. Previously we had to use the plus sign as a concatenation operator. This is an example how we can concatenate New York City. Now we can do the same thing with a concat function. We just have to list the strings separated by commas. It requires at least two strings as input. And if we don't want to guess how many spaces are here, we can just use a space function. Now if we look in DBCC user options, we we'll see a number of options there. And one is related to concatenation of nulls. Concat null yields null. It is set. So let's concatenate something the old-fashioned way with a null. So the York has been replaced by null and the result is null. Now this behavior is different with concat. Concat just changes into empty string. So now, because we took out York and there is space space, uh, we got an empty string replacement for null, so we did not get a null result. Actually, this behavior is uh, good because it is logical. To make everything null when there is just one component is null, uh, it was very confusing. Usually it caused the loss of database developers' productivity. The reason being that it is uh, easy to detect right now because um, it says null, but if it was in a variable, it was more difficult. This is the end of a short demonstration.